hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel and it's moya so today's video we're gonna prepare um salt fish and callaloo yeah so this is a homegrown callaloo yes yeah, so my husband's brother he plant this at his home and he take it to us so my husband cut it up nicely wash it off with some salt and cut it up nicely and put it in the freezer so today i'm going to be using it with some salt fish so here i have two pieces of salt fish and the salt fish thicken nicely yes so i'm going to be washing it off and place it in some boiling water so it can boil off because you know um it is very salt so when it comes to a moderate taste you're going to be using it all right so guys right here i have a piece of yam one sweet potato and green bananas i just cut the yam this is the other part so i'm going to be placing some lime i have this lime so you have to put it on here the good piece of um lemon give me the girl if you don't have lime you can use lemon i just put it on this part so it keeps long and i'm going to be also making some whole wheat flour dumplings so maybe i'm going to use this piece of lemon <clears throat> to rub on my yam so it won't spoil because i have to put it in the refrigerator that's what i was taught from uh, i was a little girl so when you cut your yam you put a lemon or a lime on it and put it in the refrigerator and you don't have to put it in the fridge once you put the lime it's gonna keep all right so this is what i'm gonna be cooking today dumplings and ground provision and salt fish and callaloo all right so guys um this is the callaloo as i said i have my onions my bell peppers tomatoes and some garlic onions bell pepper garlic so you can use what you have so this is what i have you can put carrot if you have carrot but i don't have any carrot no so i'm just using what i have right now so <clears throat> i'm just gonna let this steam and put a piece of butter in it i'm not gonna put any water because as i said it was in the freezer and you can see it has a little bit of ice over here so it's gonna be making its own water so i'm gonna place a piece of butter and just cover it down and turn down the stove a little bit um maybe five and just keep watching it and make it go and do its thing all right so guys i got these from my garden tomatoes yes lovely and i get um the sweet pepper from my garden too and this tomato also from my garden yes so may i go on with a bag of things yes i'm gonna be placing um these tomato into the color though <clears throat> guys i get these lovely tomatoes from the garden i plant them by myself no i did not plant them by myself my husband planted them for me <clears throat> yeah but it's from my garden and i'm so happy so you don't have to buy everything you can plant your own something some of the time but in the hot months if you're living in a place where they have the winter sometime Yes, I'm going to be placing all of these vegetables in my color low, all right? So guys, um, this is the salt fish. It's it cook and it has a moderate taste. So, let's strip off here so already. And I'm going to be picking it up right now. Yes, so you, you pick it up to how you want it. If you want it big or small or whatever. So, I'm going to just pick it up and put it aside and wait for it to put in the color low all right yeah so guys this is the color loo and it's coming down to the finishing yes i did not put any water in it i just put it in the pot just like how i take it out of the, the freezer <clears throat> and before i put it in the freezer i wash it off with some salt because you know you have to wash it with salt and cut it up nicely yes so i strip it Wash it with some salt and cut it up nicely and put it in the freezer so it's coming up nicely. Yes, and if you taste it and it wants a little salt, if it not have a little salt from the salt fish, you can put some all-purpose seasoning into it. Yes, but 
So what I put in it is my onions, tomato, sweet pepper, and my salt fish, and a little black pepper. I don't add any seasoning to it because I don't want it too salt. And over here is the food cooking away. And that is how I do my banana. I just wash them nicely and just slice them down to the side. And when it cook, you just take it from the skin. And my whole wheat dumpling is cooking up nicely. So that's the Maya's way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, that is the finished dinner. My boiled food with whole wheat dumpling, yam, sweet potato, and a finger banana with some color and saltfish. So that's the Maya's way. Yes, guys. So please like up the video and share. Thank you.